we've been looking how Jesus took his disciples to the mountain and began to speak what has been called the Sermon on the Mount, beginning with the Beatitudes. He's really teaching them a culture for disciples. These are not to be taken individually. I don't think, as we said last time, blessed are they that mourn, that they'll be comforted, that that's something to be taken out of the context. No, this is really the description of what Jesus wants his people to be like, God's alternative society. Yeah, they're poor in spirit because they know they've not brought anything to God. They're not making any claims. They're mourning because they're realizing, wow, I'm a sinner, I need saving. And now we come on to this third one, blessed are the meek, or could be translated the gentle. This is one of the characteristics Jesus wants in his church, meekness or gentleness. Now that would have been a quality totally despised by the days of the people of Jesus' day. It would have been an appropriate uh, characteristic of a slave. Yes, yeah, slaves should be meek. Slaves should take the lower place. But Jesus came saying, no, blessed are the meek. Now again, it's not a natural characteristic. It's not something we're born with. All of these characteristics come out of our having encountered God. There's something about meeting God that changes your personality, your character. And one of the things it brings about is a gentleness, a meekness. The Greek word praus is the same word that's used when a horse was broken in. You know, I'm sure we've all seen those movies where there's this stallion that no one can train. And then our hero comes and sits on it and holds it, holds it until it's, yeah, it's praus. It's broken. It doesn't mean it's lost any of its speed or its muscle, but it doesn't kick back anymore. It's gentle. And that's what God wants for us. He wants a gentle people. Now, we're told Moses was the meekest man in all the earth. But, you know, when he came down from the mountain and they'd have made a golden calf, he didn't look very meek then. So we mustn't confuse meekness with weakness. It doesn't mean we're just a, a mat that people can walk over. It means there's a characteristic about us. That means we're not fighting for our rights. We're not fighting for my place. We can handle difficulties because, hey, we're not fighting for ourselves. We've met Jesus. We've acknowledged to him, I'm a sinner. Now, a meek person can not only say to God, I'm a sinner, but when somebody says to you, you're a sinner, you say, how dare you? No, no, let's be consistent. I'm acknowledging I need mercy from God. It's going to affect my relationships with others. So we find in Ephesians 4, Paul talking to the church says, now be tolerant of one another with meekness, with lowliness, with patience, you see, Jesus is looking for a glorious church, not just amazing individual saints, but a community that know how to live together. And it's so much easier to live with people who don't have a sense of rights. It's difficult to get close to them. Jesus was the most approachable person you could imagine. He said, I'm meek and lowly of heart. Come to me. You didn't have to come in any other way just as you were you could come to Jesus because yeah he was meek he was gentle gentleness is a characteristic that God loves and somehow Jesus said learn of me take my yoke upon you and he said this he that has seen me has seen the father there's something beautiful in God that makes him thoroughly approachable gentle this is our God, this is what he's like. And he wants this characteristic in us. Beloved, do you keep fighting your corner? Do you keep demanding your rights? Do you say, hey, wasn't, why wasn't my name on the list? Why wasn't I invited? Hey, you've got to learn, get over it. Don't have a high view of yourself. Take the lowly place, take the gentle place. The meek shall inherit the earth, Jesus said. The battles are all fought, the battles are behind us. We've identified with Jesus. God bless you as you embrace the meekness that Jesus wants to work into you.